Hi guys and welcome to your tarot and love messages. This is going to be a collective reading. We're just going to go ahead and see what the cards predict for you um, in terms of love and romance um, or just see what other general messages are popping up. We're not going to necessarily pose any questions here. We'll just see what messages are coming up for you. So if you've clicked on this reading, then I believe there's something here that's compelled you to visit this reading. So the very things and the people that we're drawn to are not random, it's not coincidence. There's, they call to us, they speak to us on an energetic level or on a soul level here. So there might be a message in here that um, is meant for you. Okay, so I do feel like, you know, this reading, you not only have you seeked this reading out, it has also, you know, seeked you out as well. So let's go ahead and begin, shall we? Six, seven, eight, three consecutive numbers. Okay. Okay, so let's begin with the Eight of Swords here, okay, governed by mental energy. And the Eight of Swords here is, uh, it's a feeling of uh, trapped here, okay, it's a feeling of entrapment, feeling as though you're restricted by your circumstances, imprisonment here. It is self-imposed though, whichever way you look at it, it is self-imposed. Um, the Eight of Swords here could be a reminder that maybe you here need to enter a more empowered mindset here, okay? Maybe you need to learn to follow your intuition and not ignore your intuition when it comes to romantic energies, you know, choosing a partner that is right for you, um, because it feels like the water that pulls at her feet is symbolic of the intuition here. And even though she might not be able to see her way out of the predicament, out of the Eight of Swords prison here, she could feel her way out, okay? So kind of use her intuition to see what her eyes maybe aren't, you know, um, seeing here in this regard. So it does feel as though you're, re it does reveal to us as though you might feel like you're trapped or you're restricted by your circumstances or, you know, you feel as though you're stuck in an abusive relationship or an unhealthy relationship or you're stuck in a situation in which, you know, it's like there's a significant amount of debt that's piling up on you or, you know, it's this stuck between a rock and a hard place situation, I guess. Um, but that's not entirely true because you can, you know, there is an escape. There is a way out. There's always an alternative here. And much like the Eight of Swords, it feels like there's something here that is self-imposed bindings that hold you back. So, you know, you are not stuck in an abusive relationship. There is an exit door. There is a way out. You're just choosing to stay. You're choosing to stay. You're choosing to, you know, allow yourself to feel as though you are trapped by your circumstances here. So, you know, whenever it appears at a reading, it is it comes as a warning that your thoughts and your beliefs are negative and they're not serving you in a positive way. And you might potentially be overthinking things and you might then potentially also be creating negative um, emotional or even behavioral patterns which are holding you back here okay so it's time to get something out of your head and let go of that thought or that belief because it's not serving you it's not allowing you to grow as well as you change your thoughts so will your reality here because some of you i feel like maybe you're lying yourself you're stuck in a situation and it's not healthy 
it's not fulfilling it's it's taking away from your happiness rather than contributing to it but it feels like you're with the seven of swords energy that you know it's an energy of deceit and you're the one that could be lying to yourself here you could be telling yourself that you know things will change even though they have remained the same for quite some time there's some sort of element of deceit here you may be trying to convince yourself that the situation will improve or it will get better so there's this deception here um, and it feels like maybe you're the one that's deceiving yourself you're the one that's you know this deception this trickery here It could also be that maybe there is someone that you're connected to here romantically or just a connecting energy around you. He doesn't have to be romantically, guys, but it feels like they are using an energy that feels very deceitful, that feels very cunning, almost uh, betrayal-like as well. And this person has lied to you time and time again, but you keep making excuses for this person. You keep making excuses, you keep believing their lies because, you know, they do sound very sugary and they do sound very believable here. But it just feels like there's this cover-up here. Okay, they're using some sort of cover-up here. They know that they are at the risk of being found out. But they also know that the two of you have sort of created this, um, I guess created this space where you're both sort of like feeding off each other in a very unhealthy way here. Okay, the other thing is right now I feel like you're also in a position where the universe is asking you to really pay attention to any sneaky behavior and do not make excuses for it that includes your very own okay so it's taking personal responsibility for your actions your decisions here but it's also you know identifying any sneaky behavior so listening to your intuition that's important and if you trust I feel like someone someone that you trust very closely here has their own hidden agenda that's what I see for you Um, Seven of Swords could also, it feels like someone is trying to take a shortcut here, okay, when it comes to love or relationship here, so they're trying to rush the process, um, or it just feels like they're acting in a way that feels very strategic here, so they're putting, it's like they're being selfish, they're putting themselves first, even if it means they have to step on other people's toes in the process. So I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's someone else's energy here. Um, now, Six of Wands, I feel like there's um, some sort of, I do like this because it's some sort of positive um, momentum, like it feels like forward momentum, it feels like positivity, um, progress here that happens. It could be internally here or it could be between you and a romantic connection here. I also feel like there's something here that's happening for you around the 31st of this month. So around the 30th or the 31st, like around New Year's Eve here, when it feels like this is, it marks some sort of significant achievement or significant milestone, whether it's you as an individual, whether it's, you know, relating to a romantic energy here, but it feels like there's something, you've made it through the chaos of something, that's what it feels like, and maybe you're going to make a decision to break away from abusive relationships or to release old emotional or behavioral patterns that aren't serving you in a way maybe you're minimizing your distractions and you're trying to really focus on you your happiness your goals your aspirations here um but it feels like there's something here that's encouraging it's an energy that's encouraging you to put yourself out there to step into your light and don't allow and you're not allowing others to dim your light so to speak it also feels like you're very proud of it's your time to shine, basically, and it feels like you're very proud of what you're achieving or what you're setting out to do here. And do not, okay, whatever it is that you're doing here, do not let fear or guilt stand in your way here. You're, some of you are reaching towards a milestone of some sort. You're not quite there yet, so you're not at the finish line just yet, but you're very close. And I feel like come the 30th or the 31st, You'll see some. Um, you'll see some progress there. I'm also seeing that there is some sort of communication that is coming in from a connecting romantic energy, and I feel like this also comes around, like the dates of the thirtieth or the thirty-first. And I feel like this is someone whom, either this is someone whom you have met online, okay, or the two of you have, you know, 
Um, there's a lot of digital communication that I'm seeing between you and this person. You've met online. You've met this person on your travels. The two of you may have been doing long distance here for quite some time now. They may be in a, at a distance to you, like at a different city, state or even country here. Um, but it feels like there's someone here who wants to connect with you here. And this is interesting because I feel like this person is coming in and they're really pouring their heart out to you okay you've got the page of cups energy here and i feel like this is someone who is it, it it's going to come as a very unexpected but a very pleasant surprise so very unexpected it comes out of the blue here so it could be an emotional message here this person could really be you know show you a vulnerable side and open up themselves to you it could be some sort of intuitive message so some an intuitive message that comes from within okay from your inner voice here and it tries to communicate something to you here um, it could also be a message that opens up the door of possibility to something else like a new relationship a reunion or reconnection here and i feel like yeah this is coming this message here this contact or communication from this energy comes to you out of the blue but it's going to flow your way around new year's eve here on the 31st okay um, you're going to spend some time exploring what it is this person says or really trying to take in what this person says to you because I feel like whatever it is this person does want to move forward with you or wants to move forward in a way where you kind of have to release the past and put it behind you um, because of the nature of this card whatever this person says to you I feel like the page of cups does invite for you to keep an open mind here an open and a curious mind because the fish here, it pops its head out of a cup here. So, you know, this tells us that with a curious mind in life, you're able to discover um, new opportunities and you're able to discover aspects about yourself and about other people as well. So keep an open and a curious mind here. I'm also seeing be open to exploring the magic. The magic of this person, of this energy, of the magic of this connection here. Because you will be pleasantly surprised here. Um, explore the magic of your potential or the magic of this the potential of this connection the potential of this relationship the potential of this energy here even if it means it feels childlike to you or even if it feels childlike to other people it's it's a card that asks you to believe anything is possible so even if there is someone whom you are in a separation with okay and you might not even be spending new year's eve with you but to me, the message that I feel for you, that I get for you is that anything is possible. Don't be afraid to dream the impossible because everything is possible, right? Everything is possible. Okay, it, you know, it, it's impossible until it gets done, then it becomes possible here. Um, it feels like there is someone here that is, you know, they're extending themselves or an offer to you here, an invitation or an offer. They're opening themselves up to you here. But the rest is up to you. It really is. It's up to you to open yourself up to what it is this person is saying. It's up to you to explore this. Something does feel like it's out of arm's reach for you. So whether it's this person's or you know this person's energy or um, this connection in general, it does feel out of reach here, and it feels like the Page of Cups to me. The message is like. You're being asked to embrace your inner child and you're being asked to believe in the magic here, especially around this time of the year, right? It's such a magical um, time of the year and I feel like there's an alchemy to all of this, okay, to what is happening here regarding this person and regarding this connection here and there's a lot of potential here. So explore the magic of the potential that this relationship and this connection holds because it truly is such a strong emotional connection that is shared between you and this person so much so that the both of you you know are filling up each other's chalice and here this person comes in it's an unexpected surprise but it's a very pleasant surprise and okay they're out of arm's reach but it just feels like it, it is possible okay it is possible all you have to do is believe and it feels like there is a new beginning here because the ace of cups does represent new beginnings and new emotions and it feels like a new beginning might come after you step out of this energy where you feel restricted where you feel as though you know there's nothing that you can do about a situation you're kind of stuck you're not stuck and it's, i feel like it's your mindset that has enabled for you know the possibility of this 
romantic energy coming back into your life or connecting with you here. So someone is explore, expressing their emotions to you or you're going to learn about their the emotions that this person has for you. They could potentially open themselves up to you and just pour their heart out to you here. They could tell you that they're completely head over heels in love with you here. It could be the start of something wonderful, something magical, something very it's a spiritual kind of love you know the ace of cups you are a vessel here you are you're a vessel for a very deep um, a very wonderful beautiful spiritual love okay and you can't help but let this love throw let this love flow through you here you are love and i feel like in the new year i see that your heart is overflowing with love here you're receiving love you're giving love you are love and this person that's coming in is you know, they're all about love as well and loving you here. And maybe this is an energy that comes back, but it feels like they're a renewed energy. They're stepping into a brand new energy and they want a new beginning with you. Or if this is an entirely new connection here, then I feel like this is the start of something new and the start of something wonderful. Okay, as with all aces in the tarot deck here, this card comes as an invitation or an offer. My question to you is, will you take it? Will you say yes? Alright guys, and these are your messages. So thank you as always for listening and watching. Please show your support by liking, subscribing or sharing. If you are up to a personal reading, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.